Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Lauren and today I'm coming to you with some crucial information. If you are going to do a protective style, you need to watch this. So guys, this video, as you can see, is about the thing you need to do before or in between protective stylings and that is maximum hydration. I've had my hair in a protective style, i.e. cane rose for close to four and a half, five months now. And if you've watched my previous video, I did cherry lola treatment and I tried to do a wash and go, it did not go well. My roots are dehydrated to the nth degree. My roots are so dehydrated, it's not even definition. My hair is just frizzy at my roots to here. Can you see that? And this bit guys, before anyone tries to come for me, no, it is not heat damage. This is just how my hair grows. It's been like this for the whole of my life. This is what I get. This is the result I get when I put hair grease in my hair. Some parts of my hair are straighter than others. I've got some parts like that at the back. I've got some parts like that in the middle of my hair. But uh, yeah, I've got different textures everyone has throughout their whole hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this texture uniform by moisturizing my hair, basically. If you're going to put your hair in a protective style, you have to do these steps to make sure that your hair is protected during your style, i.e. you need to maintain moisture. There's only so much amount of moisture that you can maintain in your hair whilst your hair is in a protective style, i.e. plaits or a bun. Um, especially when you're not washing your hair for a long period of time if your hair is in cane rows like mine was. But I'm hoping that I yield the same results as I did last time and I believe I will. So before I continue, I just want to show you my roots. Never mind the greys. Just shows that I'm growing out gracefully, okay? Right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you can see my roots, you can see the different textures. So even in the back where it's a little less straighter than the front here, you can see at my roots, my hair just grows quite um, a lot more bunched up, let's say. And it's just doing its own thing. It becomes more uniform further down the hair. But, and this is how my hair, even when I done my big chop, this is how my hair was as well. As you can see, I've got lots more texture. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Lots more texture at my roots, which I like because it adds thickness. But when I'm trying to do a wash and go, my hair doesn't look right. It just looks poofy up here and then kind of scraggly down here. So we're going to fix that. We're going to have it all uniform. Yes. What you're going to need for this is some bentonite clay. And I'll leave the details down below in the description box. Or you can check out my Amazon store where you can purchase this. You'll also need apple cider vinegar, a mixing bowl and a plastic spoon. And the reason you need to use a plastic spoon, guys, and not a metal spoon, because if you use metal, well, the metal will draw out all the minerals and all the stuff that needs to go into your hair from the clay. So you need to use a plastic spoon, okay? Eight heaped tablespoons of bentonite clay. And then uh, I believe it was at first 10 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, but I had to add more just to get the consistency of the mixture correct. And here is the final result. That is what I'm looking for. So let me just quickly run through what we're gonna be doing. I've got my mixture of apple cider vinegar and water in here as well. So we're gonna clarify our hair first. So dry hair, we're gonna clarify it. Then once we've clarified it, we're gonna wash it out and then we're gonna deep condition it. So this is a long process, guys. I'm gonna deep condition for 45 minutes. Once I've deep conditioned, I'm gonna apply the bentonite clay to my hair and I'm gonna leave that for 60 minutes or until it hardens, okay? So if you are planning to do this, prepare to do nothing for the day. You can either loiter about like me or you can just get on with some housework, but don't be prepared to go out, okay? That's, that's all I'm saying. So obviously you're not gonna see me having to do this for the whole day because I'm shorting it down for you, so. Lucky you, all right? So let's get on with it. The things I didn't know, the pain, the hurt, I let it go. Mm. I start to believe in myself and life will be sweet again. So sweet again. Yeah. 
Right, so guys, what I will say is, if you are going to do this, please, please wear old clothes or old top or something like that. And also, the vinegar that you've just sprayed in your hair will let you know whether you've got any cuts on your fingers. My finger is stinging. I didn't even realize I had a cut on it. But we move forward, okay? So my hair feels fully saturated. I'm just gonna go in deep condition. So I'm gonna rinse this out now. I've left it in for about two to three minutes just to cleanse your hair like you would do with a shampoo. And then I'm gonna go in deep condition and then after I've deep conditioned for 45 minutes, I'm then going to apply the clay, okay? So I will see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I was gonna just rinse out the, rinse out the apple cider vinegar rinse and then deep condition my hair because I was using that to cleanse my hair. But the smell is a bit too potent and my kids are complaining. So I'm gonna use my shampoo and I'm gonna rinse out, I'm gonna wash out my hair completely with the shampoo and then I will deep condition and then I will apply the mask, okay? So I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I've washed my hair only. If you can see what I'm talking about, this I believe this is from me having my hair in cane row for so long. My roots are puffy. You can see that? There's not really much definition and then the rest of my hair is curly. So I'm gonna try and fix this today. No relaxer, no perm, no shade. My roots are nice and poofy, but I want them a bit more uniformed. Okay, and as you can see, my curls go looser slightly after the roots, after that part that I was showing you that looks like regrowth. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna put that moisture back in. So I'm gonna do my deep conditioner. I don't even know when I last done deep conditioner, to be honest. It most probably was about five, six months ago. That's very bad because I'm meant to be doing it weekly. And obviously if my hair's in cane row, then at least do it in between cane rows, but I didn't. Smack, smack. So I'm just gonna apply my conditioner. And this is not even a special conditioner, guys. Nothing fancy. When the hair shops reopen, I will be back in there. But for now, I just have to bide my time. Okay, I'm just gonna detangle my hair as well, just slightly, I'm not combing it or anything. I'm not raking through rag, I'm just trying to find where there's any tangles or knots. There you go. As I said, guys, this is not heat damage. My mum also has this and she doesn't use any heat. I rarely use heat, but I'm sure there will be somebody telling me that it's heat damage. Okay guys, so as I've got low porosity here, um, I'm going to add heat to this deep conditioner just to make sure it penetrates into my strands nicely and my hair gets the maximum, maximum, <laughs> maximum, maximum amount of moisture. Oh, I'm going to use my heat cap that was sent to me. I'm just going to put my hair up in the shower caps. Oh man, it's ripped. That's annoying. But anyway, so, and if you do want to know how to use this, you can check out my video down below in the description box where I do a demonstration of this. Never mind. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna go and heat my hair, wear this for 45 minutes, and I'll be back to you when it's time to rinse out, come and speak, to rinse out the deep conditioner and then apply the mask. Okay guys, so after a little wine mishap, as you can see, I said, I'm going to be loitering and lounging today. Therefore, I made myself comfortable, had a glass of wine, I had a little bit of a spillage. So now, <laughs> changed and I'm looking a bit more decent. Let's get back to this video. So now it has been 45 minutes and my hair has deep conditioned. I'm gonna go and wash this out. My hair feels so, oh, wow. It feels super soft. Okay, so I'm gonna go and wash this out and then my roots still feel a little 
a little thick, you know, a little, little thick. But like I said, I'm gonna go and wash this out and then I'm going to apply the clay and I will be back to you in three, two, one. Okay guys, so I've washed out the deep conditioner. My hair feels a lot better than it previously did. It feels a lot softer. But as you can see, I've still got the poofiness and my roots are still super thick. I'm gonna apply some clay now. To love myself again, yeah. For all the things I didn't know, the pain, the hurt, I let it go. Mm. Start to believe in myself, and life will be sweet again. So sweet again. Okay guys, so now the clay is applied, I'm going to be sitting here for 60 minutes watching a little movie and so and so. <laughs> I will come back to you before I rinse it out. <laughs> but yes, and what I love about this stuff guys, I didn't have any left over. If you do have any left over guys, quick tip, you can actually apply it as a face mask and it does wonders for your face. I've got a bit of eczema come up here at the moment. Just round here. Do you know what? Let me just dab that on there now. There you go and I will be back to you in a minute. So I'm gonna go and wash it off now, guys. My hair is feeling pretty nice, actually. I'm gonna go and wash this out, and I'll come back to you with the final results, okay? So, as you can see, I've got more definition, uh, less frizz. I still got a bit of frizz, but less frizz. I'm gonna put a leave-in conditioner on it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and style it. I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'm just gonna literally just, this is just basically a comparison of the results in the beginning. My roots are, Nice and poofy, but I want them a bit more uniformed. Uh, yes, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. My hair feels a lot softer. It definitely needed it. I think to get my hair how it was before initially when I had my roots super defined, I think I need to continue deep conditioning it <laughs> maybe twice a week and then hopefully just weekly. But other than that, I think my hair needs a lot more added moisture. But overall, this actually done the trick. So yes this is the thing you must do if you're going to keep your hair in a protective style and you take it out you need to keep your hair moisturized guys and i can attest to that anyway guys that will be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section and i will see you in the next one bye so yeah i'm gonna go and apply the um oh man i can't remember i think it's the wan. <laughs>